So today I'm going to show you how to put together a file with different quantities of meal indicators. So what I've done is create these in Illustrator. I've got my cow, carrot, and chicken here. And I've saved each artboard as an individual PDF with the client's name and cow, carrot, or chicken. So the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to calligraphy the names, but I want to print these meal indicators. And we have different quantities that we need of each one, and I need it all in one PDF because I'm ordering a variable data print from my printer. And we need all of that in one PDF, so I'm gonna need at least 90 cows, 10 carrots, and 55 chickens. And then I'm gonna account for about 10 extra on each one, maybe five extra on the carrots. So we need that all in one giant PDF um, with each page representing a different one. So how we do that, is we're gonna use master pages in InDesign. So we're gonna go to File, New, Document. And I'm gonna put in my measurements here. So I need three and a half inches wide by two and a half inches tall. And um, the number of pages doesn't really matter at this point, but we'll just start with one. And then my printer always asks for an eighth of an inch bleed. So I need that, so we'll create that here. And then up here where it says A Master, you wanna go ahead and click on that. So we're going to do, I'll show you how a master page works first. So we'll place our, let's see what we got first, cow. So go ahead and place that. Ooh, that is not cute and not what we want. So we'll go to view, display performance, high quality display, Whew, way better. And this will go ahead and paste at the same size that it was created relative to the artboard in Illustrator. So we don't need to worry about resizing or anything. We just need to place it right where we want it to go, which is right in this bottom corner. Let me come up a tiny bit more. Okay, so now you'll notice that we edit it. You can see the little guy over here on A Master. And then we go to page one. We've also got this here. So then if we were to duplicate this page, page two also has that. So a master page basically is a page that is going to apply to everything. So you can go ahead and set up like a text box, you can set up a design, you can set up anything you want on this master page and it'll automatically apply over here. So anything that's gonna be static and same on every page, you put in a master page. But we actually have three different icons that we're gonna to wanna to use. So I'll go ahead and create a master page for each of those. So what you do is you just click over here, you click new master, Prefix B. In this case, you could change them up for like steak, chicken, and veg, but it's not that big of a deal. So then on B Master, we're going to place one of our other files to the carrots. And now that we're in high quality display, you won't have that issue anymore. So go ahead and place that there. And then we'll do another new master for C and we'll place our chicken. chicken. There we go. Oops, okay, and we'll just go ahead and put this little chicken right here. Okay, so as you can see, only the cow is showing up on pages one and two, and that's because a master is applied. So you can have different master pages and you can choose which pages they apply to. So we need 90 steak total, and I'm gonna order 15 extra of those, so in case I mess up, I have plenty. So that means we want 105 steak total, we've already got two. So we'll just right click here, insert pages. So then we want 103 pages, we'll insert them after page two, you could do before or at the start or the end, whatever you wanna do. And then here you can choose which master is going to apply. So our state is on A. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And now what we have is 105 pages, all of which have this cow in the exact same place. So we'll just do the same for what we need with the other ones. So the second one is the carrot. And we need 10 of those and I'll order five extra. So we'll do 15 and all we do is just Choose B master. And then you'll see, okay, so we've got page 105 that's still got the cow. And then we've got page 106 has the carrot. 107 
all the way down. We added 15 of those. And then we'll just do the same thing with our chicken. We need 55 of those, so I'll do 65. And click C, C for chicken. And then we're good to go. So as soon as we get to page 120, the next 65 all have the chicken on them. So see how easy that was? And now we have 185 pages, all exactly how we need. And I'll go ahead and just save this guy. And then after we save the InDesign file, we'll go in here and export it as a PDF. We'll use the same name. And we just wanna make sure we have all pages. Um, we don't really have any of these other things that we need and we'll click view PDF after exporting just so that we can take a look at it. And you can see up here we have 185 pages. Cow, 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 cow. We scroll super far down. We'll start seeing those carrots and then a little bit further the chickens. And that is exactly what we need. And it looks a little far from the edges because we do have the bleeds on here. That's what our printer needs as well. So then I can just upload that. This took me about 10, 15 minutes as opposed to trying to copy and paste or combine PDFs or any of the other options that um, you have for doing this. This is my favorite way to do it. So let me know if you have any questions on this process below in the comments or what you thought of this video. Um, if you liked it, please give us a like and a subscribe so you can get more conversations and tips for creative business owners. Thanks, everyone.